Our very senior politician, the first Pakistani Muslim MP, Muhammad Sarabat, to say a few words in the dark side. Thank you, Lord Amasal for arranging uh, this meeting to mount a campaign uh, for justice for uh, Dr. Afia. Now my view is that it was wrong for the Pakistan government at that time to hand over Afia to the American administration. Yes. I think we should condemn this and we should condemn this unanimously. <laughs> And uh, you will remember when uh, there was a debate in the House of Commons for the <coughs> extradition of Gary McKinnon, uh, who was uh, intruder in uh, uh, Pentagon and other issues. I voted against my own government because I believe that Gary McKinnon should be tried in this country and not should be handed over to America because I don't believe in justice in America. Oh, That's why nice. I voted against my own government. That that it should not be handed over to uh, America. Now, brothers and sisters, it's a huge campaign in front of us. First of all, Ivan is, my sister is absolutely right that we should exert our maximum pressure on Pakistan government because it is the duty, she is a Pakistani national, and the whole nation in Pakistan is behind Dr. Aisha. And the Pakistan government should exert the maximum pressure on Obama administration to ensure that she is released and she comes back to uh, Pakistan. Now, I just want to give you one example of what happened in Scotland. There was uh, somebody who they saw that he, has, he is planning to bomb and uh, he is planning to commit terrorist activity in Scotland. And uh, jury, judge gave him the direction and jury convicted him and he got seven years of imprisonment. And the case went to court of appeal. And the three senior most judges in Scotland has quashed that decision because they felt that miscarriage of justice has taken place. In a country, whether it's in Britain or in the United States of America and Europe, where day and night People read in the newspapers and watch uh, on the television screens that, you know, what terrorists are planning to. There's hardly any point that a jury can make a fair and just uh, decision on, on, on evidence because of this uh, great amount of publicity in, 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 in the media. So I can assure you that Lord Arnold and myself have already decided that we are going to write a letter to President Obama seeking a meeting uh, with him uh, for Muslim parliamentarians in, in the United Kingdom to discuss uh, Dr. Afia's uh, case. And I want to assure you that we will campaign vigorously for her release. Uh, and I want to pay my tribute to Director Aifa's family, who have, I believe, have faced these very difficult circumstances, very difficult times, with dignity, with passion, and with respect. And I want to convey my message of sympathy for Dr. Eiffel's family. I know uh, I have said enough. Thank you very much once again. really <laughs> somebody we should be proud of, yes. who has always been the campaign. Pakistani lawyers and Sigbert Khatri who can't be with us today, uh, three key messages. One, that this whole process was wrong, that the extraordinary rendition, which is an illegal act globally, should have a public inquiry by the Pakistani government 
it should invoke the International Criminal Act 2001 and bring the then governance arrangements to that court. Secondly, the whole conviction is unsafe. Thirdly, that at Obama's earliest convenience, he should review Dr. Arthur's file and repatriate her to her country of origin. And some practical points from both Lord Ahmed Mohammed Sarwar and Iman. We need to launch this campaign in the media, in the community, amongst our parliamentarians. If you can't please do anything else, when you look at Dr. Afia, view her as a sister, as a daughter, as a mother. And if that was someone in your family, what would you do? Many times you might have your children come home from the school, having faced injustice in the playground or by the teacher, and how awful and bitter you feel and you want to do something. But what about this young lady that was taken from her homeland, tortured physically, mentally, sexually, her children taken away from her, and confined in a small environment. You can imagine, if we were in that predicament, what we would be faced with. And these are practical points that you can do. Sign a petition, do an online petition, go on the blog sites, develop a Facebook, start a campaign, lobby the embassy, lobby your members of parliament, and help these people get a full solid petition that they can put in front of Obama when they go to see him in America. So some practical points. I want to really finish off now with a couple of community speakers who are really passionate on this. We've heard from the leading life. Just a couple of uh, people from within our community. Can I first ask the pioneer, the leading life within Muslim aid, Vlad Porter, to say a few words on this issue? First of all, enough has been said, ladies and gentlemen, about the plight of our sister who had been tortured, humiliated, and anything in the book which hasn't been done to that two year old lady. And at the same time, it won't be fair for me going any further without expressing my sincere gratitude to Mount Ridley. She had been over there, she was the pioneer, she was the first one to break this matter in the limelight, and alhamdulillah, she had been very successful. At the same time, that goes to Mount Khan. Uh, May Allah bless him, he is the gentleman, nominee, I've uh, got a lot of relation with the Pakistan party, but he is the man who doesn't miss the words, he speaks his mind, so I'm speaking behind that. And he raised it up and he is going to do anything possible for this particular issue. As far as we are concerned, I entirely agree with the ideas and with the strategy, with the main points which uh, Pastor Abad has just highlighted. I think we should raise this matter uh, on the higher level and we should organize a very broad and very well organized campaign so that the message goes across to those people who have done injustice. And one thing I would like to say that there was a time when the Radha was the patrol, he was the ruler back in the Sindh area, uh, where she comes from, because of her she's like in the Sindh. And uh, one of the ladies uh, was uh, looted by the pirates. And she wrote a letter to the Jatman Yusuf at that time, who was in Baghdad. And guess what happened? Mohammed bin Qasim, 18 years old, his nephew, came all the way from Baghdad and destroyed, destroyed, the, destroyed the person who was cruel and tyrant and who did something wrong with that poor lady. And I don't know what had happened to us, but at the same time, I must say, until unless we don't change it ourselves, nothing is going to change. As I have said, in Allah, Allah, you hear about the comments, Atta, you hear about the young person, until unless we as the Ummah, we don't change with ourselves, Allah is not going to help us. It's about time we wake up and we work hard for the plight of this poor soul. She has got, she hasn't seen her sibling. Just imagine when your son and daughter doesn't come back from school, what will happen to you? Mom will feel like a fish out of water. She will be, she will be crying, she will be moving around, talking to people, talk, going to the relatives. She hasn't seen her sibling for years. What will be going through her? As they say, only the wearer knows where the shoe pinches. But at the same time, I must give the credit to the family of that poor. You must have seen the interview of her mom. She's so 
come back, she is so cool and she is so tolerant, she is advising the people. There is a lot of support, as Sister Sylvia said, quite rightly. We should come, it's about time we we'll go, we'll go on the road and show our unity about this particular pride. And she has advised the people who are supporters, for God's sake, do whatever you like, but don't destroy, don't do any damage. That is the family background of that lady. It's about time that we unite together and we support the people like Best Robert and Lord Amar. I'm not going to say much, thank you so much for listening.